I'm Antonia Burrell, founder of Antonia Burrell Holistic Skincare. And uh, look, I'm speaking up. I need to be part of this conversation. And I feel that I want to use my voice as a black businesswoman to share part of my experience and also inspire and invite change. Historically, I am a very, very, very private person. Um, but I just feel it's very important uh, right now to speak up. So my brand launched back in 2011 um, in partnership with the Urban Retreat at Harrods. And since then, we've gone on to win many, many awards. We're a multi-award winning brand, so to speak. So awards like Best Holistic Skincare Brand, Best Natural Skincare Brand, um, Best Skincare Therapist of the Year, um, Best Serum, Editor's Choice of Serum, um, Best Cleansing Oil, uh, Best Moisturiser. I've won quite a few awards myself and actually most recently um, nominated as one of the top 100 uh, in industry influences uh, by professional beauty, which is wonderful. As well as that, we're stocked in Fenwick in Bond Street in London, uh, on Netta Porter, and we're available in a number of countries as far afield as Sweden, France, Czech Republic, um, to name a few. And I practice, uh, still practice in a clinic in Notting Hill, where I practice as a esthetician and facialist. So from the outside in, it might look like I've got it made. But back then, when I launched, our web team noticed after a little while that the bounce rates on the website were unusually high, very, very high. And what that meant was that people were coming onto the website, but actually just logging off again, literally within one to two seconds. And this was something that was just the, the, the nature of, of my, my website at the time. And somebody pointed out to me, somebody highlighted and said, Antonia, have you thought that it might be you? It might be you. And the reason they said that is because I was there, right bang, on the homepage. So as soon as people got onto the website, they saw me. And what it meant back then as well is that they didn't relate. You know, it just was the thinking that, is this brand for a black ladies? Is this brand for black skin? And these were some of the um, emails that I started to receive. These were some of the questions that I began to be asked. So the sort of level of inclusivity back then, that you didn't really see black women in advertising, you didn't really see black women in, you know, fronting a brand in anything to do with skincare. It was just not something that was the norm at all. So I took myself off, you know, got the team to take me off. And did you know that the traction began to build? The momentum began to build on that website and we began to see that people were staying, exploring, reading and that changed the game. But how it made me feel as somebody that had sort of spent years creating super high quality products, quality products that are therapeutic, effective, life changing, really. It just made me feel like I wanted to go and hide that I wanted to disappear. I didn't want to appear anywhere because I just thought well, if I show up, then it's going to affect the sales of my brand. And that was quite a deep thing for me for a while. And, uh, you know, I have a daughter and I really, really want her to grow up in her power, in her truth, in her strength, and not feel any need to hide, not feel any need to feel that she's any less than or any different than. This is a time for change. It is a time for change. Ethnic representation within the skincare category is important. Ethnic representation anyway is important. But I'd like to see more ethnic representation within the skincare category. I really, really would. And you know, with that, you know, I recognise my role as an educator within the industry. I recognise my role as somebody that's going to help to shatter some of the perceptions out there. And I also recognise my role that, you know, it's time for me to stop hiding, to come out more, to speak up more, to inspire more women, you know, even if it's just helping them to not necessarily experience the struggles that I experienced. 
and to continue to lift as I climb. There certainly was, and there possibly still is, this presumption that black people made products for black people. And, you know, different skin tones face different issues. And my brand addresses all of them, working on physiology, serious skin rejuvenation, corrective therapy, really, at the heart of it. Um, you know, through really intelligent, adaptive, science-backed, efficacy-backed um, formulations that really address the needs of diverse complexions. There's a deep understanding here of diverse complexions within my brand, a very deep one. So look, here is my ask. We're in a time of change. We are in a time of change. And I know that the beauty industry is keen to do more. I absolutely know this. And what I'm doing now and what I'm going to do now is invite and challenge stockists of premium skincare to get in touch with me, work with me, start a conversation with me and help me to get my brand in front of your customers, to your customers. Let's all be part of this change. Let's all work together. Let's have a conversation. I'd really like that. And I really welcome that. And I so look forward to hearing from you.